guys. So today I am doing a review and wear test on the Jeffree Star approved mascara. Um, this is the new mascara from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, of course. Um, comes in this like soft matte packaging with um, a gloss lettering. Um, so I'm really enjoying that and I will be also using the eyelash curler um I don't know why I'm obsessed with this but it has the J's at the bottom and it really reminds me of the mirrors and his logo of course so I really love that so yeah let's get into let me put my hair back here I hate doing makeup with hair in my face even if it's just some eyelashes Please excuse my fan. It's very fucking hot in here. So this is um, not spring action. Um, so this is the type of um, lash curler that I would use on clients when I was a makeup artist because, or that I would want to use on clients. They're, um, they're a little harder to find for me personally, but um, most of them have a spring. So they're like this all the time and you have to squeeze to close them. This is not like that. You don't feel like you're squeezing tight to fight the spring action. Um, this is like totally loose and you know what I mean? Like, so I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, this is my truth. I have, um, I've talked about this before. I have eyelash issues as well too, where my eyelashes grow um, into my eyes sometimes, so I have to tweeze them out. Um, so my eyelashes are kind of abysmal, so just keep that in mind when I'm doing this video that it's probably not the mascara, it's probably my lackluster eyelashes. But I figure we'll give it a go. I'm just inching up. You get a pretty nice curl with this. I like it. Okay. I'm actually going to mascara this before I move on to the other one. So the wand looks like this. Just a big fat mofo. I like it. It looks very lengthening. I'm going to try another coat on when it's dry. Um, but just want to get these little specks off. Little tip for makeup artists who um, have a hard time doing mascara, by the way, have your client look, like close their eye, lift up right here with your eyeshadow brush, and it will be significantly easier to get in those eyelashes to curl them. Just wanted to give that tip. That's what I used to do all the time, and I never had a problem. I like the curl, the mascara, or the um, lash curler gives, and I like how dark this is. I like the lengthening. I think it thickens too. I'm happier with the lengthening though. I don't know if the thickening is that noticeable to me. But anyway. mostly my eyelashes on the inner corner and the outer corner that literally grow um, like some of these grow directly into my tear duct which is very painful um, I think it's a gene I've said this before I think it's a gene I've researched it a bit um, but I think my dad has it too because I've had to tweeze lashes out for him so I'm not sure though okay 
Okay, I actually really like how this looks. I feel bright eyed, you know? Let's try a second. Yeah, I like how this looks. It just depends on if it holds the lashes up, obviously. That is um, important. Please excuse my bird. He's going buck wild right now. The most important thing for me with mascara is that it doesn't fucking irritate my eyes. I'll be totally honest with you guys. Um, like the L'Oreal Lash Blast, I think is in the orange tube. Um, that one really irritates my eyes. I remember I wore it once when I was helping move a friend um, when I was younger. It was my first time trying it, like when it first came out. And is it Lash Blast? In the orange tube you know the orange tube right okay so here's what we're looking like Let's see if i can get you guys a bit closer i like how it looks right now um not much else to say i'll do uh periodic updates and let you guys know how it goes see you soon Okay guys, so final upadache on my lashes. Um, my first checkup, so I filmed at 12 um, noon. Uh, my first checkup was three o'clock, which you can see here. And around this time, I forgot that I had uh, mascara on my left eye and I actually went like this. And that's why there's a little bit of uh, follow over here so to speak a um, little bit of flaking there's none of that on this eye so that tells me that when if you touch your eye when you have the mascara on it would probably flake and disintegrate a bit the next update is six o'clock <clears throat> and then I have two more the second last one is 8 30 The last one is 9.30 and I just took photos now and it is 12 midnight. Um, so I went about my day, I, I did forget I had mascara on which I really enjoy because I don't want to feel like irritation in my eyes. Um, I didn't have any irritation at all from the mascara. I didn't have um, any trouble with that in that regard. Uh, it's nice. Um, I do, I didn't cry. So this was the first time I haven't cried in like probably four years. Um, but regardless, um, I like, I'm a, I'm a little, I don't know if it's negative when it comes to mascara, but like mascara is mascara to me. You know what I mean? Like I'm one of those people who's like mascara is like always kind of lackluster. Um, I mean, I liked it. It was lengthening. It did thicken a bit and it did wear all day and it was comfortable. What else can you really say about a mascara? You know what I mean? Um, so I'm kind of at a loss for what to say about it, to be entirely honest with you. Um, but everything that I can think of saying, I've said. So other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. It truly means the absolute world to me. Thank you and have a great day. Bye. Or I guess night at this time. <laughs>